Hey guys, welcome to a new movie. Today we're doing a movie I'm really excited to watch. I found this at a, um, it's like an indoor, like, I guess, flea market kind of place. They go to a lot to have cheap stuff. And I found this, I'm like, I knew this existed. I didn't know they brought this over to America and released it on DVD. And that is the Gintama live action movie. Now, if anybody wants to ask like, my opinion on Gintama and what I think, have I seen Gintama? Do I know anything about Gintama? Yes. I read the first volume of Kintama, because that's the only one on my own, physically. And I know a lot about Kintama and stuff, so I know, like, it's a action-like comedy series, and it's great. I read the first volume, it's great, it's a great book. I know a lot of stuff probably happens more in the series, and I need to get more. And I know the series never finished, I think, in English, at least in manga, physical manga over here, so yeah. I don't know if it did, did, did finish the digital, I don't know, probably not, but it's a series I do want to check out, I do want to read the manga, more of the manga. And watch the anime. But I don't know if the series is over. I want to say it is, but I'm not sure when it comes to I don't know if the series in general is over or not. I want to say it is, but it might not be. It's definitely a longer series. Definitely a decent length series for Sony Jump. So I know enough about this going into this. I knew the feel of it. What it should feel like. Kind of. I knew enough to where I'm like, I know if this does not feel like the anime. Or have like the mango anime kind of feel. But I'm surprised it's actually good. Yeah, there's actually one of the good ones. I think uh, Joey... The anime man did a video where he talked about um, anime adaptations and this was high on the list. He talked about the Gintama live action movie and I believe it's the only one, so yeah, this is what I talked about. It's good. It actually felt really much like Gintama. Had a lot of stuff where they broke the fourth wall. Because I don't know if it shows it here. This guy right here. This guy right here, this character who's a like, duck like character saying, he's just a guy. He's in the movie, obviously, he's an interesting in the comics. You don't notice it, but in the early. Obviously, because it's drawn, it's a little more, you, it's like, it's a creature, whatever. But in the, I don't know if they say it, but in the movie, they're like, he says, it's like, hey, Thomas, like, I sent you just a guy, like, in a costume or something. What he totally is, it's obvious that he is. Because he's one of the, he's one of the only characters, I'm like, it's obviously, like, that's a costume. But it's also kind of part of the joke, and it works, and it's like, for that one scene, it's like, breaking the first wall, like, I believe you're kind of, it's just a kind of costume. It's like, yeah. I like how they break a lot of the false walls, talk about stuff with, like, the manga, and stuff with stuff. Oh, they have references to tons of shit. They had, I believe, they had the one point she was reading Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z, so it was like cool. They had a uh, One Piece reference, a Gundam reference, Nakisa and the Valley of the Wind Studio Jewelry. I'm like, I don't know how you got all this stuff. I know this is a comedy series, so it's kind of like parody, but I'm like, it was great on the nose. And I wanted to say they also mentioned Parasite, so it's like, it just has a lot of references, some references to stuff. I'm like, that's cool. This is great. I have to me out to watch the pick from want to watch and read Gintama, like, fully, like, go into it, read it, enjoy it. Um, like I said, I know the manga got completed in America, but probably somebody, usually people, which sometimes will translate it online. See if it's available online for free, if it's me a translate all, I bet they didn't, because usually if they don't finish something, they don't, not gonna do it just online. Uh, yeah, so this is series I'm excited to actually watch. It was really good, the comedy was great, it had a lot of moments that felt just like I would, from what I've seen and read the anime, it felt just like from the anime, the characters all act. Pretty much like they do. It's, it's fantastic. It's funny. It's great. It actually made me laugh. More laugh. This, this movie made me laugh. I was like, I was surprised. But yeah, it's funny. It's great. It's weird. It's amazing. It's a like perfect. I think it's a good adaptation. One of the best. What do I rate this movie? I'm not going to give it a 9 for me because it's a really good adaptation. I want to give it a 9 because it's such a good adaptation. I think it's really fun. Fantastic. It's a good adaptation. I'm giving it a 9 because it's a good, uh, good adaptation. Go watch it. Go check it out. What you guys think of this movie? Let me know in the comments down there. Do you like it? Let me know. You guys can always stay epic. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.